I'm Anil Kumar and in this part of the video we'll try to understand what is the profit function, what is the maximum profit and at what price do we get maximum profit in this question where we are discussing relation between demand function, cost function and revenue function. Well this is my third video on this discussing uh, relation between these functions. So profit as you know is difference between revenue and cost right so it's revenue take away cost that is profit now what is revenue revenue is number of items times the demand for items so number of items is x demand is p of x so p of x for us is let me write first p of x minus the cost is given to us as c of x right so let's write down these functions and develop the formula for profit and let's call this profit function as p of x okay so we have x times 50 minus 1.25 x minus the cost function which is 160 plus 10 x let's expand and simplify you get 50 x minus 1.25 x square minus 160 minus 10 x Let's combine the like terms. We get 1.25x squared. It's always good to write highest degree term first. 50 and minus, that means 110 with a minus sign. Sorry, this is minus 10 here, so 40. Okay, let me change this. 10x. 50x minus 10x will be plus 40x, and then we have minus 160. So that becomes the quadratic function which represents the profit function. Now the question is, when is this profit maximum? To maximize the profit, what should be the value of x? This is the question. What we can do here is we can actually factor or we can do completing the square. Since we need maximum profit and the price for the item, Completing the squares is probably the best method to do. So let's complete the squares. We'll take minus 1.25 common. And then we get x squared. Since we took minus, this becomes negative. 40 divided by minus 1.25. So 40 divided by 1.25. 32. So we already put the negative sign here. 32x and minus 160. So that becomes the function which we should be factoring. Now uh, to complete the squares we need to do half of 32 add and subtract its square. Let me continue here. So we have profit function as equals to minus 1.25 x square minus 32x plus half of 32 is 16. So we'll add 16 squared and take away 16 squared. Correct? Well, we ran out of space there. So I'll do it here. Minus 1.25 x squared minus 32x plus 16 squared minus 16 squared minus 160. Correct? Now, so this first three terms form a perfect square. So let me push the page a bit here. Okay, so, so let's forget about this. So that gives us minus 1.25. It's good practice to use a square bracket since you know we have to multiply this with two terms now inside. The first is this trinomial, which is a perfect square, which will be x minus 16 whole square. And now we have minus 16 square. So let's see what is 16 square. 16 square is equal to 256. So we'll write minus 256 minus 160. Now let's take it on the right side. So the profit function is, open the brackets, minus 1.25 x minus 16 whole square. And then when you multiply 256 with 1.25 what do you get 256 times 1.25 gives us 320 so that is plus 320 and we have minus 160 okay 
Combine these two terms. We get minus 1.25 x minus 16 whole square plus 160. So that is the profit function in vertex form. So this vertex gives us the maximum profit which is 160 and the number of items which is when this part is 0 x equals to 16. So maximum profit is for dollar 160 and the number of items number of items that is the x value is x equals to 16 and in our case we will say x equals to 16 means the items are I should write let me write x value here first and then we say number of items is equals to 16,000 since x is number of units in thousands do you see that so that is why it should be like this right so the answer is the answer is that maximum profit is dollar 160 and number of items so price number of number of items will be uh, 16,000 right now the question actually is price for the same item right so we have to replace x with 16 in this question okay and the price for the item p of x is equals to 50 minus 1.25 times 16 let me find that out so this is 50 minus 1.25 times 1 6 and that is equals to 30 so that is 30 dollars 30 so let me push the page a bit right now and answer the question here clearly so we get our answer and the answer is maximum profit equals to dollar 160 price for item equals to dollar 30 so you have to substitute this value in the price demand function right and then find the price correct number of items they didn't really ask for so, so that is how we should be answering them I should you understand I hope you understand how to do this part and in the next part we'll kind of summarize the whole application and sketch a graph thank you and all the best